Mr. President, very distinguished colleague, Adiola Solomon Olamilekon, representing Lagos West Senatorial District of Lagos State. Mr. President, this motion centers around the resources and the assets of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And despite the meager resources accruing to us as a nation, some unscrupulous Nigerians still go around to destroy the nation's assets as a means of saying they are looking for a means of survival. And I strongly believe, sir, that this is one thing we should, be ad we should address using this motion. May I formally move the motion? The Senate notes the disastrous pipeline explosion in the Jegun Alimosho local government in the early hours of Thursday, the July 4th, 2019. Further note that in ensuring the conflagration, 12 persons were burnt to death, 40 persons sustained various degrees of burns, 30 vehicles were burnt, two secondary schools, namely Ijegu Junior and Secondary Schools, 20 other buildings, as well as good worth millions of Naira, were all destroyed in the inferno. Aware that the immediate cause of the pipeline explosion was the activities of the oil thieves vandalization of pipelines for siphoning of petroleum products. Worried that the pipeline explosion followed the pattern of similar explosion at Abuli Egba, Ajiromi Felodun in Lagos State on Wednesday, December 19, 2018, and elsewhere with similar huge losses. Regret that despite the reoccurrence of this explosion over the years, from mostly the activities of the vandals, an enduring solution has been found to prevent this ugly incident. Further aware that in addition to official security for official and general security for pipeline protection from vandalization, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation (NNPC) and pipeline and product marketing company PPMC in time past engaged the local, local and community vigilante to monitor and help secure this pipeline, but all to no avail. Accordingly resolved to one, observe a military silence in honor of innocent Nigerians that lost their life in the explosion. Two, commensurate with the people and government of Lagos State for this disaster and loss of life. Three, all the National Emergency Management Agency and the Federal Ministry of Health to urgently come to the aid of the families and distresses at Ijegu and its environment, as well as to attend to medical needs of those that were hospitalized. Four, direct the National Petroleum Corporation, the NNPC, and pipeline and product marketing company, PPMC, to improve its security architecture for the pipelines, as well as we consider engagement of communities and local vigilante in such architecture. And five, urge the Ijegun pipeline explosion be added to the investigative mandate of the other committee set up in the Senate on the river explosion in view of their similarities and occurrences at the same period of time. I so move, Mr. President. President, distinguished colleagues, my name is Ibikunle Amosun. I represent Ogun Central Senatorial District. Let me commend the mover of this motion. But let me say particularly that, uh, yes, some few weeks ago, maybe just last week or so, we dwelt and talked about a similar incident that happened in River State. I even recollect that even in the Fifth Senate, I was part of the delegation that went to the same river state and even sometime we went to Bayeza for a similar occurrence. Clearly, in this age and time, we probably should not be talking about this. 
I remember that in 2012, in 2013, 2015, 16, and 17, similar things like this uh, happened. It happened in Narepo, it happened in uh, Shagamu, our brother with uh, Lagos in Korodu, and it happened just uh, at my backyard there in Nigeria, in Obafemi, with the local government, where these pipeline vendors, you will see them siphoning our fuel. But let me say this, Mr. President, the caliber and the sophistication of people that carries out this uh, nefarious act is not just anybody. These are well-trained professionals that know what to do and know where to go and bust the pipes. I think where we are now, what we should do is to impress and encourage NNPC and PPMC by extension to deploy technology. I remember that sometime we saw what South uh, Saudi Arabia did. They have times maybe four or so of our pipeline, and it's been monitored. We have some people there, maybe about 50 or so. They monitor every part of what is happening. Indeed, there are chips that will be installed in those, uh, they will attach it to those pipelines. If anybody is anywhere to trigger, and they will know. And quickly, they will seal those uh, valves such that there will be even no fuel for anybody to, uh, to go and siphon. When you see the implication of this, I have seen people dying in, we just see them like, like rats there in Arepo, even in Okorodu and all of those places. And this is not the first time that is happening uh, in Ijegu. I think we need to use technology, deploy technology, and encourage those that have local knowledge, those that have local knowledge in those areas. We should encourage them the more. But the problem is this, because I was part of it. I even led the military, everybody there. If you see the sophistication of their weaponry, those people that are involved in this uh, pipeline vandalization, indeed, they overwhelm even those local people. Even sometimes, even they almost overwhelm our security agencies. Indeed, it was Mr. President Mohamed Buhari in 2016 that now approved that both Army, uh, Navy, they were there just to ensure that this is uh, curtailed. So we should not spare any effort in putting an end to this. And if we need to straighten our law, of course, this is where we should do it, that those vendors, when they are caught, they should face the music, they should face the law, and they should serve as deterrent because well, whatever we say, we are not bereft of all of these uh, things that we say we should do this, we should do that, but it's not being done. And once it's not being done, it will continue to repeat itself. So one, we should use technology, we should encourage them to use technology to monitor all of these uh, pipelines. Two, we should encourage people with local knowledge. They should invite them so that they will know pipeline passes through this place and it must be protected. And finally, whatever we need to do by way of strengthening our laws, to make sure that anybody that crossed the line are adequately punished. Thank you, Mr. President.